Hi again everyone, Josh here with Northern Frogger. Uh, today working in the frog room a little bit and uh, these grow out tanks behind me here. It's about time to change out the substrates here so I'm just going to show you uh, how I do that and talk a little bit about the substrates or the substrate I do use in these tanks. So all I use in my grow out tanks here, uh, it's mostly this is Exoterra forest moss. Uh, with a little bit of the Exoterra cocoa, ho cocoa husk in it. Uh, so I just basically use uh, an empty aquarium if I've got one sitting around or like a Sterilite bin or Tupperware or anything like that. Anything that holds water. Uh, and it's going to be big enough. So I'd probably normally do about one of these bricks uh, to probably maybe a quarter of one of these cocoa husk bricks. Uh, this stuff does expand quite a bit. So I've already got some pre-mixed, but all I would do is uh, break this up a little bit, one of these bricks, uh, break a chunk off of one of these and throw it in, and uh, dump some water in, and uh, mix it around a little bit, and then just let it sit for a couple hours, um, kind of absorb all that moisture, and that's basically it, and it'll be ready to go. Um, I've been using this for a couple years now. Uh, this mixture, I did use a uh, paper towel for the first couple years I was raising froglets. Um, and it's okay, it does have a couple advantages, um, but overall I prefer this stuff. So just like a standard 5.5 gallon aquarium. Uh, this one's empty. Um, it's nice to have an extra one. I have, happen to have an extra one, or an empty one sitting here right now. Uh, which makes things a little bit easier. Um, I kind of put the substrate into this one, move the plants over and then move the frogs over. Um, if I didn't have um, a spare one ready to go, I would catch the frogs out of the, the other tank, pull the plants and the substrate out, replace the substrate, the plants, and then the frogs. Uh, so just a little bit harder to do that way. Um, it's always nice to have an extra one, which I happen to have, so I'm gonna do it this way for now. Uh, so basically just uh, an empty, Clean aquarium. I'm just gonna grab some of the mix here. Just kind of spread a thin layer. Don't need a ton, just to cover the bottom glass there. I like to just pat it down slightly. I'm not really packing it down, just giving it a slight pat. And that's the uh, bottom. It's got some powder blue froglets in it. This is a piece of glass. I give that a quick clean. It's got some algae growing on it. I'll give it a new piece of saran wrap here. I'm using saran wrap on the fronts. I do have the stuff to make the screen pieces here, but um, I made them for all my 10 gallons and I find I pretty much have to cover them anyway just because it's so dry here. So I'm just going to give this piece of glass a quick wash and then uh, we'll move these plants over. So to clean this glass I just give it a quick uh, spray with my mister. And then just wipe it down with a paper towel. And I do compost all my paper towel that I use. and. All the old substrate out of these tanks and all, like, as I get it grows so much of this pothos, there's more, I get way more than I can ever use. I have nothing to do with it, so the ex extra plants, substrates, and paper towels all get composted and put, uh, and used for my vegetable garden outside. So we got some of these guys already trying to escape. So, pull these guys out. And I have all of these growing in these neck cups. Make this uh, transition quite a bit better. You don't need these. The plants will just grow right in this moss, but uh, when it comes time to move them, it's uh, a lot more of a pain. So I'll just pull the cup up. Take some of the, try and knock a lot of the old stuff off of the roots there. And then put them in the new tank. So I generally like to throw a cluster of plants where the back is going to be and then leave the front relatively open. Uh, and then I dump the flies in this side 
and all the frogs come over and it gives you a good opportunity to view them and check on how they're doing. There's a little frog hanging out on this leaf. Let me just see if I can move him over with the plant. There we go. This one moved. And sometimes these guys are growing a little too much for my liking. I will just kind of try to fold him back on himself. And jam it back into that cup like that. To make kind of a more more of a little bush than the big long vines that Pothos likes to grow in. So in order to move these guys, I like to use a small cup of some sort. Now nah, these ones work pretty good. This is actually uh, one of the Tropica 1-2 Grow, like aquarium plant containers, but they're pretty good size for this. In order to catch these guys, kind of just like to put the cup at an angle against the glass and then kind of just chase them in with the other finger. Try not to touch them too much. Bring them over to the other tank. When I'm doing this too, it's always a good idea to look at them, I like to kind of check them close up. Make sure they're looking healthy, all their toes and everything look good. That guy okay, looks pretty good. Uh, I try not to touch them, but definitely happens. I don't usually bother uh, wearing gloves. Just make sure I rinse my hands really well before I ever start doing this. And uh, yeah, they usually hop in there pretty quickly like that. Some frogs are a little harder than others, like these powder blues are not that shy, so they'll cooperate fairly well. Uh, some of the smaller erratas and stuff, though, will uh, get a little panicky and not be super happy about this. So they can be a little harder to catch, but usually not too bad. Guys are all looking pretty nice and healthy. And these are this is the youngest group that I have. So they're a little, little small. Some of them, some of them are only a couple weeks old. Sometimes it's easier to just get them to crawl onto your finger, and then I kind of use the cup in front of them so they don't hop off. We got one more guy hiding in the back here, and he, I think this is the newest one. There's one I put in here just a few days ago. Yeah, he still looks pretty young. But he looks good. And then, just like to go through again. And double check that there's none left in here. Do the saran wrap. And line it up. Uh, probably about a third of the width of the saran wrap hanging off the front and then two thirds on the tank here approximately really not an exact science there and then just stretch it over give it a few inches of overhang on this side let's see just kind of smooth that out so it's got something to grab on slide this over I really like how these ones have that zipper thing on them. It makes this a lot easier too. And then I can just do that. I don't quite seal it down yet because then I'm going to put the glass top on. 
Oh, and the other thing I like to do is give that a quick blast of mist. I just mist that for a second just to get a little water on there, and that's uh, kind of going to help this. Once it kind of sticks in and dries, it kind of seals. You can see where it really sticks into the glass there. Now this is kind of, you can't really see it, but it's still sitting up because this saran wrap is tight still. So at this point, I pull, peel the edges back off carefully and then you hear it click into place there. So that's dropped in. So that's gonna kind of seal that so they can't crawl up and get back this way. And then I just smooth it down. Hold the corners over and that is good to go. So this one gets put back on the shelf and I go take this one, grab this stuff, pull it into the compost bin, uh, wipe this one down, clean the glass and stuff off and basically start the process over again. Move the next batch over to this one and then clean that one out. Move the next batch over and just kind of go down the line uh, until I've got all the substrates changed. I'll just go ahead and do that and then uh, give you a, a view of what it looks like when it's done. So here we are all done, looking much better, you can actually see into them now. So that'll do it for today's video, uh, thanks for watching, uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you next time, happy frogging.